In this video, I'm gonna show you what a workflow looks like and do a quick demo of how you would create it in Screen Steps. Here's what a workflow looks like. It includes a paragraph in the beginning and has these buttons you can click. Kind of like a choose your own adventure. Click one of these and you have the option to select more options or you can see a set of instructions. And I can return to the previous set of instructions or options by clicking up here. And notice that when I click this button, my instructions are different than when I click that button. When I've read or completed these instructions, I click the continue button to see what's next. And eventually I come to the end. All right, let's take a look at how you would create a workflow in Screen Steps. When I create a new article, I choose workflow. I'll drop in a paragraph block, question blocks, and step blocks. Now, these question blocks will automatically create those buttons when I publish the article. And I can include several options or just leave it at two. If the reader clicks this option, they'll go down this path. And if the reader clicks that option, they'll go down that path. And these step blocks will automatically create the click to continue button at the bottom. Anything that's nested under the step block will be included in this section. So I'll drop in other content blocks, fill everything out and hit publish. The key benefit to using workflows is that you remove ambiguity for your readers because when they click an option, they don't have to skim through, well, in this situation, do that. But in that other situation, do this. They just answer some questions and follow the steps. These are great for complex procedures, troubleshooting, configurations, or handling customer support calls. And if you'd like to see how we could format your procedures as workflows, schedule a meeting with a specialist or start a free trial and give it a try yourself.